So guys, I've decided that I'm going to start doing some equipment reviews. Uh, as you probably are aware, I've got loads of cool, interesting, crazy grip training stuff. And I get so many questions so often about um, what is that, how can I use it, should I get one. So I thought instead of answering all those people individually, I'm just going to start going through every piece of equipment I have pretty much and uh, reviewing it, let you guys know what I think of it and uh, how useful it is for general strength training but also more specifically for, for grapplers as well. So the one that I'm going to start off with today is this thing here which is called the Grippedo. It kind of looks like a torpedo, so torpedo and grip, I guess that's where it gets its name. Um, it was, for transparency's sake, this was sent to me for free um, and I said that I'd do a review with it. It doesn't mean that I'm going to give it a good review just because I got it for free, otherwise I'd be a pretty shit reviewer. Um, it came with a letter from the guy who uh, invented this called Emery. Um, really, really nice letter, so I really appreciate it. And it kind of talks about his history and training, you know, he's a grappler. So I think it's so important when someone's making something, um, a piece of equipment, especially for a grappling art, or as one of his main applications, the fact that he comes from a wrestling background and a grappling background, uh, he understands some of the uh, needs that a grappler like myself and probably you, you watching this needs. Uh, he kind of talks about, um, he wanted to come up with something that's quite versatile that you have a lot of different uses for. And um, just by looking at this, you can work out that it does have a lot of options. Obviously, you've got this vertical handle here. You've got the uh, ball on the end, so that is going to give some interesting challenges for your hands. These fins on it, which I'm going to show you what they're for in a little bit, these are kind of the most interesting things about this kind of what makes it very unique. I haven't seen this uh, used before, but I'll show you that in a second. Uh, it's got a hole in the top here for a, um, for a pin, so you can attach this to stuff. And then it also has a hole in one of the fins, so you can attach a, uh, a piece of rope. And then lastly, it's also the correct um, diameter here that this will slide onto the edge of a barbell. So uh, to use some exercises to do with that. So we're going to start off by playing around with some of the stuff that um, the company recommends that we do. And then I'm going to see if I can find some cool other shit to do with it. So first thing I'm going to do is take advantage of the last thing that I was talking about, which is the fact that this will slide on to the edge of a barbell. So I'm going to slide this into the edge here. Um, I've just tied paracord onto the hole in the fin. Um, and I've got a carabiner on the other end. I'm going to grab a weight and thread it through here. And now essentially you have a pretty good wrist roller. So you've got a standard way that you can do a wrist roller. Come around here, just grab it on and move it up and down like that. Wrist rolling is one of my absolute favorite uh, exercises for building the endurance in the forearms, the size of the forearms, the strength. Uh, it's just a fantastic finisher. I have a permanent um, wrist roller set up over there, but this works really well if you don't have something that you can put it into. Uh, so many people try and do a wrist roller um, kind of just holding it up, you just can't hit your forearms because the lot, you know, the first thing that's going to go is be your shoulders. That's a whole other video. So this works really well. Just trying this here. I thought it would be a little bit short to get both hands on here, but actually, to be honest with you, this isn't a problem whatsoever. Then the other way, because we've got this nice uh, circular ball shape on the end, we can work a single hand here. So I'm just going to twist this up to take the weight up. And I'm going to grab onto the side here, and then I'm just working that supination and pronation position and I'll tell you what you, you feel that in the in the hands very very quickly so obviously other hand and then because all of the weight is on one side here what I'd have to do is let it down and then spin it back on the other side to work the other side here like that And this works very nicely. And that, that open hand position where you're grabbing here, this is a position that you is very, very difficult to mimic in the gym very often. Um, I try and do quite a lot of stuff grabbing onto, grabbing onto balls, it sounds a little bit wrong. But the, the shape really challenges the hand in a unique way, that open hand position. Uh, so it's quite nice to be grabbing onto that and to be turning that like that. You can really feel it in the forearms as well. So next thing I'm gonna show you is, uh, as I promised, what these fins are for and kind of one of the big uh, one of the main ideas behind the design of, of this device. And what they're meant to do is that, that rotating movement that I showed you on the, um, sort of in the wrist roller style on the edge of the barbell, you're able to be able to do that without having any weight. So instead, using a bucket of 
rice or a bucket of sand. Now, if you watch some of my previous videos, you'll see that I'm a big fan of using a bucket of rice or a bucket of sand for training. Uh, so essentially, you put this inside of it, and obviously the fins are gonna create resistance from the particles of the sand or, or the um, rice or whatever you're using, and it's gonna give you extra resistance. So you just stick it in there, and you begin to turn. Now, when I, when I first was kind of having a look at what to do with this thing, I saw the wrist roller, um, loaded wrist roller with the weights, and then I also saw the uh, rice and sand bucket method of, of, of getting that same movement. And to be honest with you, I thought that this was gonna be very, very easy, and that was gonna be the one that really I could get the most advantage of. This is gonna be very, very effective for people who have, um, people who have injuries and imbalances in their forearm, uh, tennis elbow and golfer's elbow and stuff like that, people who suffer with elbow problems or even shoulder problems to be able to balance all of those muscles out. So I thought this would be more re rehabilitative, rehabilitative, and that was gonna be more really to work the strength. Then I stuck this in and when you first put it in and the fins are just a little bit on the inside, it's very easy to do. But the further down you get to this, it actually gets harder and harder. And if you really bury this in the bottom of the bucket, it's actually pretty difficult um, to, to, to move this back and forward. Uh, so you can kind of change the resistance. This is harder than, than, than holding on to the, the, the bar was loaded. And you can move back and forth. And if you want to make it lighter, I just pull it out here a little bit and I just go closer to the surface and the resistance is a lot easier. So, uh, I was a little bit surprised by how difficult that was. Then I pulled out the rice, uh, the, sorry, this is a rice bucket. I pulled out the sand bucket that I've also got. Um, and that was genuinely, when this was buried right into the bottom, I was shocked with how difficult it was. Especially when I was going from one direction to the other, sometimes really, really struggling to change direction with this. So I was, um, I was really proved wrong thinking that this was gonna be, uh, that basically I wasn't gonna be able to get enough resistance using a bucket of rice. Uh, I like the fact that you can go from, you know, I can just with fingers here, when this is just sitting in the top, and then if I bring it all the way to the bottom, I'm not gonna be able to move it like that, and I'm having to use my entire hand to move it. So this is a very, very, you know, and, and of course it's those fins that allow it to have that resistance in there. So this is a very, very clever design and a very, very useful method um, of training for that movement, supination and pronation in the wrist, also with the hand position, especially to work as a rehabilitative, I don't even know if that's a word, but uh, to, to work a rehab or prehab for your elbows and for your wrists as well. So one of the other things that is advertised that you can do with this is place this over a loading pin and essentially create like a, uh, like a, like a ground handle. Um, I imagine if you had two of these and two loading pins, that would work quite nicely as some sort of uh, um, thing that you could do dips and gymnastic type movements on. With one, you can, I guess you can use it as a, um, like a, a diamond push up. So I'm gonna give it a go. Grab it onto here and coming down and coming up. Um, it is difficult. Um, it's definitely a little bit harder because it's not completely stable, so it's gonna work your stabilizer a bit more. Not something that I spend a lot of time doing, but you have the option there. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take advantage of this uh, hole that it has, and it comes with a, a pin that goes into here that allows you to attach stuff to it, whether you wanna do drags with it, or whether you wanna do pickups, attach weight to it through that. Um, I'm going to attach some weight through a loading pin. Luckily I have a loading pin that also has a hole in it so I can line these two holes up and I'm gonna load some weight onto here. And basically I'm gonna try and use this for some uh, vertical pulling because I love working the vertical pull and then trying to work on the edge here which is gonna be very, very challenging. I have some weight loaded on here now, and I'm gonna try and have a play picking it up in the vertical gripping position. So coming around here. It definitely works. Because of the size of the ball on the end of this, 
It make it forces me to bring my forearm away from the uh, from, from the center of what I'm grabbing a little bit, so it makes it a little bit more awkward. I'm not allowed to get I'm not able to get my forearm completely flush. Of course, this ball is going to act as a fulcrum. And my hand's going to pop off of here, so it's forced me to flare my elbow, my shoulder out a little bit, which is making it awkward, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I probably wouldn't start using this as my sole piece of uh, vertical gripping implement, but. Um, it definitely challenges the hand in that way, uh, but yeah, that's the only thing with that. So what I've done now, I'm going to have a play with, um, is doing some pull-ups with this. Uh, it is obviously a very awkward shape, which is actually a good thing. It's going to make it awkward for me to hold on, and so I'm going to try and get some top position holds and do some pull-ups with it, and see how that feels on my grip and how awkward and how challenging that is. This is just attached using the uh, hitch pin that uh, Emery sent me, and then I'm just using a climbing sling over the pull-up bar here. So I'm going to give this a go. Now, it's interesting with this because you're thinking you're, you've got that same vertical holding position that you've got when you're doing the deadlift. The difference is, is because we're doing a pull up and not just standing up with it, instead of the forearm being straight, the elbows are pulling backwards. So the problem that I was having about the large ball at the bottom you, uh, acting as a fulcrum to remove my hand, it isn't happening now. And if anything, this ball at the bottom is actually supporting my bottom hand when I grab arm over arm, and I actually just love this hold, um, it's something that I've been, that I have actually been playing with, that I have been doing, which is a vertical double gripping position hold, you know I like to uh, use the arm drag quite a lot both from standing and also the butterfly guard, and being able to work those, uh, that two hand, two on one grip um, on a single implement, instead of having to work on two vertical bars like this, so actually having this, you know I, I think that if you were doing full dead hands with two of these, then potentially that ball is going to come in, but with just one of these here, loading up, choking down on the bottom, and coming up, and then bringing your chest into here, it is incredibly challenging, both to hold yourself in the position with the back and also with the forearms. Uh, it's difficult, you can do pull-ups in this position here, it's challenging, and that ball isn't getting in the way too much, not compared to when I was doing the uh, standing lifts. So I quite like this for that. So just a first glance at trying a couple of different exercises with this, um, it's, it's, it, it is a versatile tool. My conclusion is, personally, I'm not really after, me personally, after something massively versatile. Um, that should be pretty evident from the fact that I've got so much equipment. I'm not looking for one piece of equipment that's gonna do everything because I kind of just like, you know, like that's what I like to collect. I like to collect things that, um, that I can train with my grip and I like to have, you know, something that is very, very specific and then another thing that's does something different which is also specific. But not everyone's like that. Some people are looking for one piece of equipment that they can chuck in the back of their car and they can kind of get a workout anywhere they go and they can do lots of different things with that. And if you want that, this is actually a pretty cool tool. Um, what I would use this for personally, and I am going to use this, uh, is that that ball position when I'm loaded onto the uh, edge of the barbell, hitting that movement there, but then also that, uh, honestly, the, the, the in the, you know, taking advantage of those fins in the sand, back and forward, that's gonna be very, very good for, and I do like to use that sand bucket as well, so I imagine at the end of a workout when I'm sticking my hands in the sand bucket and working all of the different movements, that's just gonna be next to me and it's just gonna be one of the other movements. I'm gonna stick that in the sand bucket, I'm gonna warm up by going quite high up the top there, get it moving, sticking it in deep, working for time, that's gonna be good for any rehab if you have elbow issues from imbalances or even to prevent elbow issues with imbalances, uh, from imbalances, sorry. Um, and then especially, you know, it's quite difficult. Um, you are having the grip onto something and it's quite awkward, a large, this large ball on the top here, you are having the grip onto it as you move over time. So that's definitely gonna be working that gripping position, working the fingers all the way down into the wrists and the forearms. And working for minutes at a time is really gonna give you a huge pump in the forearms. It's gonna be very, very good for the endurance. So that is for me personally, the, the biggest application for this, uh, taking advantage of the, the very clever design from the, from the fins. Uh, but it is versatile. Um, I could use myself using it for the stuff like the pull-ups I really like, and I'll probably play around with it and see if I can come up with anything else. You know, if I had two of these, I'd be interested to see uh, or feel what doing um, 
pull-ups with two of them was like uh, and kind of you know obviously when you have two of anything you can kind of work that implement in slightly different ways so all in all a very very clever design um, I'm a fan of it I will be very likely implementing it into regular training and uh, yes if you guys want to check it out then they are on uh, they are on Instagram as Gripido and uh, I'm not sure, I know it's an American company, I'm not sure whether they ship worldwide or whether they're going to or whether they do it yet. But go check them out anyway. It's a very, very interesting tool and I really appreciate Emery for sending it to me. Cheers.